One of you suggested I go over what craft supplies I like to get at Dollar Tree, so Michelle, here it is. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing crafts and DIY projects. And today we are talking Dollar Tree, one of my favorite new discount stores to hit up. There is so much stuff there, it's a little bit overwhelming. And I found quite a few things that are good for the craft room, so I wanna share them with you. I've got a few bags, lots of stuff. As you know, I've been building a dollhouse. I also found some other items that I think just would be good for your general crafting needs. Compared to the hardware store, you can get some great deals on comparable items, paint brushes, this paint set, which I've seen at Home Depot for like four or five dollars, a dollar, a dollar tree. And this comes with like a brush, roller, gloves, tray. So this is an amazing deal and they usually have these at most of the locations. I've also hit up several different stores and I've noticed the selection can vary from store to store. So there are some things I've had to go out of the way for and I'll, and I'll go into that. They've got these uh, packs of foam brushes. These are great. Although they have both wooden and plastic handle varieties, I personally prefer the handles that are wood. The, I don't know, it's just, they're, they're just easier to use and I find they're better for whatever reason. I got this ruler at Dollar Tree, clamps, a really big pack of sandpaper. This has like 36 pieces of sandpaper. I haven't even tried to use it yet. I got a hacks, literally a hacksaw at Dollar Tree. Toothpicks, which may be good for miniature projects, and I've also been using them to apply glue on the dollhouse. So again, a dollar. I got these like needle nose pliers, which I think will be great for working with like wires, which I definitely plan to do because I got another one of those mini DIY dollhouse kits. And uh, the other thing that I really love about Dollar Tree, although this is one item I haven't seen around lately. A while back, I got these sanding blocks, sanding sponges from Dollar Tree. One side is medium grit, the other side is fine grit. I like them. This one I got from Home Depot, and while it does have a beveled edge, this was like $3.50 or $4, and this one was a dollar. The only bummer about this sanding sponge is that I've been to at least two locations in the past week, and neither of them had the sanding sponge. I really hope this item isn't going away because I think this is one of the better bargains I found at Dollar Tree. If you've seen these recently at a Dollar Tree, let me know and let me know the approximate location. Help out your fellow Dollar Tree addicts here. But this is one of the, I think, best bargains in the hardware section. Because again, sanding blocks, I didn't realize how expensive they were. I've seen these for up to five dollars each other places. This one's more on the crafty side, but I got these glass beads. It's They're a really good assortment too for a dollar each uh, from the craft section. I can think of many uses for the beads. And of course, I've gotten some wood stuff from uh, Dollar Tree. These uh, crap popsicle sticks basically, great for little crafts or maybe for my dollhousing addiction. Dollhouse furniture, which is one of the things that the miniature enthusiasts seem to be all about is the Dollar Tree selection there. They have beds, tables, these nightstands, chests, lots of different things. So I've managed to pick up quite a few of these uh, dollhouse furniture pieces for a dollar each and I plan to paint them. That will be a future video. Also in the craft section was this wood birdhouse kit. I actually didn't buy it for the birdhouse. I bought it just for the wood, just because I, I've been trying to play around with making miniature DIY furniture. So I thought this would just be some fun, you know, raw materials for me to try. And I found these wooden dowels there one time as well. So I got some of those. So again, I do plan on trying to make some DIY miniature furniture type stuff. So this will be great for that. If it's not obvious already, I'm becoming a little bit addicted to Dollar Tree. Anyways, in the comments, let me know what your favorite items from Dollar Tree are. One thing I'm gonna be on the lookout for, I'm gonna be trying to find some cheap like vinyl tablecloths. I've heard those are good for spreading out on your surface when you're maybe like painting furniture pieces or working with your dollhouse. I've been putting paper over my work surface but a cheap tablecloth would work really well and I could keep reusing it. So that's another item that's on my list to find. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to The Sewing Report for more sewing crafts and DIY videos. I'm Jennifer Moore and I will see you in another video. Baby.